Right, the difficult thing with doing all these activities since we stopped is me trying to find activities that you can do just on your own. Because the very nature of things, most PE things you do in a small group of part. I mean, there's always skills that we can we can practice on our own. But today we we're, we're going to look at some passing. Very hard to do unless you've got the partner. I know we've done it with the soccer ball. See, I've always got to get down here so I get to my feet. But today we're going to do some dribbling. So key thing with dribbling is. Hand bent, not flat. If you're hearing, you can see this camera mark moving around because it's very windy. It's starting to get windy. If you're hearing slap on the ball, wrong. You should hear nothing. Okay? It's a push for control. And the more our hand is on the ball, the more control we have. Now you might notice at the moment I'm bouncing the ball with the camera. That's what you should be aiming to do eventually. You might have to start with your head down, but you should. Aim to bounce the ball head up because if we've got our head up and we're in a game situation, then we can make decisions on who to pass to. If our head is down, we can't make any decisions who to pass to because we can't see what the options are. So we are aiming to make the skill automatic that we don't have to look at the ball. If you have to look at the ball for now, go for it. But the aim is to eventually lift your head up. So let's just start with a controlled dribble Bouncing the hip height, pushing the ball. That's all I want you to do. Push the ball out, no slap on the ball, change hands. We're going to use the left hand and our right hand. So, right hand, left hand, and then just start trying to move around the ball. Stop, walk backwards, walk sideways, move around. So, that's all I want you to do to start with, just dribbling the ball, moving around. When you can do that quite easily, I want you to vary the height and speed. The more our hands on the ball, the more control we've got over it. So the lower we've got it, the better our handles, the more control we've got. So try and take it low off your fingertips and take it high. Same with your left hand, low and high. And just try and put those two things together now. Moving by changing the height as you move and the speed of your dribble. So you'll take high, both hands moving around, back, forward, whatever, low, high. If you can start putting those variables in, you're well on the way to controlling the ball and keep your head up. Try doing it with your eyes closed when you feel a bit more confident. Same thing as your head up, except you're not cheating. Okay, so very simple things to do on your own. Once you start becoming more confident, you can start putting a few more trick things in through your legs. Right, I need to get back. It doesn't want to follow me again. I need to crouch down for it to come down. You can see me. So, as I said, you can start going through your legs, backwards through your legs, spinning, changing hands, spinning the other way, changing hands. Okay. Start doing that to, 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 with the ball at home for your PE lesson this week. Now, one more thing. When you've done the same as the soccer though, you can get a dog, get whoever, and try and take the ball off you and you try and control it. One more thing, changing direction. We want to be able to change hands. I want you to practice your V bounce. Making that V. Nice big V. And as you get better at it, get it lower, harder, wider. You might notice that I'm starting to walk and transferring the weight from one leg to the another. Across your body with a V bounce. Okay, you find a line, I've got a line here, and you can make the line where you want the ball to bounce. Faster, longer, and last one when you're really good at it, one hand, V-bounce. So your hand's got to get to the other side of the ball, both hands V-bounce, I'm not as good on my left. Haven't been playing enough basketball lately, far better on my right. So I know I need to work on my left with my V bounce control. So in summary today, PE lesson, no game, unless you get a brother or sister again and you can play a game of popcorn. Two basketballs trying to tap the ball off each other and controlling the ball. But high low bounce, sorry, moving bounce, not watching the ball, high low bounce, changing direction bounce, V bounce. Okay, V 
very good, easy one today to do at home. Starting to get control of that ball. Key is head up. I wonder how many people can do it at the end with their head up, not looking at the ball. Hey guys, we'll catch you next week. I think this might be our last day of sunshine. That's why I've jumped out on a Sunday and filmed this. But have a good week, three to six. We will catch you next. Actually, I'll catch you Tuesday, straight into a PE lesson next Tuesday. I won't be there on the Monday. Have a good one.